I thank you all for being here today. I am honored. I am honored to see all of your faces, and I know it's not the best of weather. But I am here today because of my faith in Arkansas. And I believe that together we can do things that are great and we can make lives better for our children. We can make better health care choices. And we can do whatever we need to to revive our economy and to bring back jobs. So on these bases and many others that are important to Arkansas, I am here to announce to you today that I am running for the United States Congress District 2. Everybody who knows me knows that I am very passionate, I'm a very hard worker, but I always strive for balance. Any objective examination of my record and what I've stood for will show that I have always been on the side of finding balance in whatever we do. And I think the people in Arkansas and across the country today, whether they're black or white or young or old, male or female, Democrat, Republican, or independent, are some who just don't have their minds into politics whatsoever. I think they're tired of all the things that we do to reach extremes and not find a balance. The people in Arkansas want long-term, sustained work to make sure our lives are better. We don't want to continue to overreact to the problems we face just to create another problem. And the ups and downs of the economy is a boom and the bust. And all of these things, they're extremes. But I will work for finding the balance for everybody. You know, as I said before, I'm a hard worker. I'm passionate, but I have been an effective legislator, both in the House and the Senate, because I, because I have refused to be defined by extremes. I will work with whomever it takes to get the job done. I will work with my party, I will work across party lines, and I work with people that sometimes folks assume I have nothing in common with them. We need to find a balance between Wall Street and Main Street, a balance between community banks and the big banks, a balance between the homeowners and lenders, a balance between workers and their employees. There are interests on all these sides. But we can do better. And I pledge to you, when I'm in Washington, I will do better. I know most of you know I've spent a lifetime in education. I refuse to believe that we cannot compete. I refuse to believe that our kids cannot do better. So I have always held myself to high standards as a teacher. I've held myself to high standards as a legislator. And I will hold myself to high standards in Washington while I fight for our children and our families. Yeah. Yeah. And as far as health care is concerned, a very big issue. Yeah, sometimes working for health care can be controversial, and we all might need it if this rain continues. <laughs> but I refuse to accept that we can't find a way to have health care for the people in this country. America is better than this. And while some might shrink from that fight, I will not because to shrink from that fight will be to suggest we can't do better. I'm running because I know we can do better. Right. I know we can do better. Uh, even in my personal life, I have seen the struggles with my very own sister who had to go without health care that I personally, personally had to spend my own money to make up for that. I know what that feels like. I know what it's like when you don't have the money to pay for the medicines. This is America. This is Arkansas. We can do better, and I promise you, I'm on it. And I think the most important thing, one of the most important things facing us today is the lack of jobs. I understand what that's like. People are willing to work hard. If given the opportunity, they will do the work. 
of what we have to do in Washington is think about ways that we can use the resources that we have. Let's strike a balance between um, world trade and fair trade. Let's strike a balance between making sure that average people have an opportunity for a job, just as we make sure that folks on Wall Street have a good job. Let's make sure that when you have a job, it is one that is at least a living wage or a family wage. Because there are, there are people working hard every day and not making it, and there are so many people who are not working at all. But look at the resources we have. You know, we need to take advantage of we need to take advantage of what we can do with solar energy, what we can do with natural gas, and what we can do with biofuels to help our farmers and at the same time create jobs. I know this is difficult stuff. It can be. But I will pledge to you, I will not shrink from this. I have known since I was 10 years old I would be in politics. I have known since I was 10 years old because I saw what politics could mean when people had no hope. And I saw what it, mean, what it meant in the face of my, my ancestors at this time, because some of them have passed on. The older folks around me who certainly, who all of a sudden had hope because John F. Kennedy was running for office. I was 10 years old and I knew something is different here because of politics. And I knew one day I will do that. But I also figured that one day I would do that in Washington too. This is the beginning of that day. So again, I thank you for braving the weather and being here. You are such champions. You're show showing so much love for me. I appreciate it. I thank you for your support and for being here. I thank my poor little niece, wherever she is, who got up at 5.20 this morning to leave Louisville, Texas, so she could be here today. Bless her heart. Where are you, Jacob? <laughs> so I will need your help, and I'm asking for your vote. With extraordinary opportunity comes extraordinary responsibility. I know it takes a lot of hard work, but as Basil King once said, be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. You are my mighty forces. I need you at my aid. Don't just be here today. Be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. I knew I could not wait for another opportunity. This is it for me. This is the opportunity. And I want to thank Congressman Snyder for all of the work that he has done. We were We were all surprised and saddened by his decision not to run. But I think that this district needs someone who will work as hard as Congressman Snyder did in his spirit. And someone who will bring her own passion to what we have to do. A combination of those two things. And we will do great things in Washington with your help. Thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to being your next Congresswoman from Pennsylvania.